plastics. So there are four methods for fabrication of the plastic. Injection molding, compression, transfer and extrusion. Very interesting ones. Let's begin with injection molding. A very beautiful gif I got from the internet. So this is injection molding. You can clearly see what exactly is happening. This is the hopper in which we feed powdered plastic. Okay, with all the ingredients. So whatever mixture we want, got with ingredients, with the plastic, we just feed it into the hopper. Then this is a heating coil because of which the plastic melts. Okay, so on heating, the plastic becomes soft. Okay, and then it is injected hot, soft, hot, soft, hot plastic is injected into the mold. You can see this injection over here. This is the mold. When you inject it into the mold, it gets the shape of that mold. Cool it. The cooling process is very quick. And when you open the mold, the finished project, uh, the finished object comes out. The finished object can be removed. This is called as injection molding. Got it? And which types of plastic can be prepared? Now see, these are some of the key uh, points that you can remember about injection molding. So, injection molding plastic uh, works on the heat and pressure. Okay, that is how we are converting the powder plastic into a softer one. Definitely, this is possible only for thermoplastic because they can be softened on heating and by applying pressure. Because of the process, you get a very good finishing for the plastic. Okay. Then, this process is very rapid and has a low production cost. And this is the most commonly used process for uh, simple objects. Like these are some of the objects that can be prepared by injection molding. Milk crates, CD cases, mobile phones. These all these are made up by injection molding. See, this is a product. Basket. This is a final product of the injection molding. So you can see the molds, how the molds are. Depending on what shape you want, you can prepare those molds. And all thermoplastics can be used. For example, uh, LDP, polythene, LDP, HDP are different types of polythene, polystyrene, polypropylene. All these are thermoplastic polymers which can be molded by injection molding. The next method is compression molding. Let's look at this image over here. This is the plastic that we have taken in a mold and we just apply pressure from the top. So whatever is the shape of the mold will be acquired by the plastic. Okay, so compression molding is a process that molds molten plastic through compression into the desired shape of molding. So this is the dough, this, this, this thing that we take as, as a plastic, soft plastic, this is called as a dough. It's a polymer dough which is placed in the in the cavity. And these are the two dyes. This is the upper dye, this is the lower dye. And then you just compress it, you just press it and you get the desired shape. Because of this type of process, this type of process, you can see this is used for thermo setting for plastics. Right, you cannot use injection molding for thermosetting. So, if you want to mold a thermosetting plastic like brake light, okay, so for that we can use compression molding. So, upper molding die is placed above the lower molding die with the help of gliding pins. Pressure is applied, temperature is increased, it will become that the temperature is increased, and the, this process takes place. So, it's quite easy to understand this, okay. So these are some of the products which are made by compression molding. Of course, it can be applicable to plastic. See, thermoset if it, it can mold thermosetting plastic, it can thermosetting it can of course mold thermoplastic. Okay. What are the plastics used? Urea formaldehyde, phenol formaldehyde, bakelite. That's bakelite. So these are some of the uh, objects that can be prepared by compression molding. This is the actual compression molding machine. Okay, let's go to the next one, transfer molding. Just look at the diagram over here. Okay, so this is the upper part. This is the mold cavity. It, it depends upon the shape of the plastic that you want. 
this is a modification of injection molding kind of injection molding only so you can see uh, there is a screw from which the plastic can go into the bowl so what are the steps in molding the plastic is first made softer it the plasticized uh, the plastic is made softer outside okay and then it is placed in the bowl so this is the plastic softened plastic then through pressure this plastic is injected through an orifice into the bowl in the bowl you have this heating and cooling taking place so once the shape is formed it is cooled and the molded article is ejected mechanically this type of process is used for preparing complicated shapes of plastic these are some of the examples okay so these are some of the objects which are prepared by transfer molding so intricate shapes which cannot be made by compression molding can be produced finishing cost is eliminated because you get a very good finished product mold cost is less okay fine wires glass fibers can be inserted into this mold depending upon what you what type of shape or plastic you are preparing for and the last one is extrusion molding extrusion so it is similar to injection molding the only thing is the plastic part that is coming out it is removed it is extruded okay and that is how you get these typical shapes pipes can be made sheets or films can be made by extrusion molding so the process is similar to injection molding you take the plastic pellets mix all the ingredients and everything take the plastic pellets fill it in the hopper okay then through the hopper it goes into the barrel uh, where there is heating heating taking place so it softens over here fine and the plastic is pushed the softened plastic is pushed outside and here at the outlet there is a shaping die so the melted plastic is close to the shaping die and the shape is extruded outside it is pulled outside through an extrusion machine and then of course once you get the mold you cool it and you have your product okay so these are some of the shapes that we can get by extrusion molding this is the actual extrusion molding machine so this can be used of course for thermoplastic because you have to melt not melt as such you have to make the plastic soft so tubes sheets rods cables all these are prepared by extrusion molding okay this is extrusion bowl molding exclusively used for preparing shapes like bottles okay so the once the plastic is extruded blow some air into it prepare a mold separate mold over here so the extruded part is inflated and once we get that uh, once we do that we because of the presence of the air and the outside shape of the mold the plastic substance expands and on cooling you get the particular or the typical mold or typical shape this is called as extrusion bowl molding the chief is enough to explain it all right so these are some of the articles that are prepared by extrusion molding exclusively i told you the exclusive like bottles cans all these typical articles can be prepared by extrusion molding i hope you people have understood this the next uh, video will be for these polymers so you will get a detailed idea about all the uh, synthesis part uses part advantages disadvantages of these polymers so let's keep the video short i hope you people have understood this i will end the video do watch the next series of the polymer chapter thank you for watching